Welcome back everyone, today's video is a space video and if you guys know me even the tiniest bit after all these years you'll know that I really do love space. A lot of the space videos I've done in the past have been, shall we say, quite technical and sciencey. This is a bit more of a fun one. In this video we're going to look out into space and look at images of things that look eerily like human faces. Kind of. Sometimes it does get really creepy. You'll see what I mean. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 scary faces seen in space. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the smiley face. In February 2015, NASA published this extraordinary picture showing a cluster of galaxies that undoubtedly looks like a face. It almost looks too good to be true, like someone photoshopped it, but it is 100% legitimate. The picture was taken by NASA's Deep Space Hubble Telescope. They said in a statement, galaxy clusters are the most massive structures in the universe and exert such a powerful gravitational pull that they wrap the space-time around them and act as cosmic lenses which can magnify, distort and bend the light behind them. This phenomenon, crucial to many of Hubble's discoveries, can be explained by Einstein's theory of general relativity. So yeah, basically that distortion and magnification is what's causing the outline of the face and the mouth. In scientific terms this is called an Einstein ring. Those eyes aren't actually stars either, they are entire galaxies with over a hundred billion stars in them. Travelling across just one of them at the speed of light would take hundreds of thousands of years. I could go on with that, but we've only just started. Don't want to blow your minds just yet. Moving on to number 9 now, we have the man on Mars. 1976, the Viking 1 orbiter passed over the surface of Mars and sent back pictures to Earth. The scientific community were fascinated by all of them, but one picture in particular caught people's attention. This one. Everyone who saw it saw the face, but what exactly was it? Viking 1 took this picture on its 35th orbit of Mars at an altitude of 1,162 miles. The face rises up from the surface of Mars to 2,600 feet, over twice the height of the Empire State Building. It's also 1.6 miles wide and 1.2 miles long. Conspiracy theorists believe that the face is a structure made by an ancient civilization who lived on Mars long before it became uninhabitable to complex life. NASA obviously rejects this and says that the face is nothing more than a trick of the light and some shadows. The conspiracy theorists have disagreed though and still maintain there is a lot more to this face on Mars than meets the eye. Moving on to number 8 now, we have the Sumerian. In 2015, this picture started doing the rounds online. Now at first, it might not look like much, but UFO hunters believe it's the head of a fallen statue. Specifically, that it looks like an ancient Sumerian statue that you'd expect to find in ancient Mesopotamia, right here on Earth. They point to the two eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the typical cone-shaped beard of Sumerian statues. Now some people have taken this to the absolute extreme and believe that ancient beings may have colonized both Mars and Earth. That's why there's a similarity in the beards. It's quite a far-fetched theory, I won't lie, and uh, yeah, NASA denies it, of course. Moving on to number 7 now, we have the smiley face. We are returning to Mars again for this one. This is the smiley face that was spotted by the Viking 1 orbiter, the same mission that took the picture of the other face on Mars that we talked about earlier. Smiley face is a little bit less controversial though. Nobody, I think, is claiming that it's the product of some ancient civilization, but it is pretty interesting to look at. From directly above, the smiley face looks a lot like the famous yellow happy face sticker. I'm sure you know the one I mean. In reality though, the face is made up of a cluster of mountains inside the Galley Crater, with the rim of the crater forming the outline of the face. Moving on to number 6 now, we have the crowned face. This is a famous face that's also referred to as the king's face. You're about to see why. The 11 mile wide long feature was spotted in the Libya Monte region of Mars. It's not just a face that sticks out with this picture, it's that crown too. Some people see the face as that of a woman looking to the left, while others see a few different layered faces. Interestingly, the feature that makes this face aren't actually as heavily shadowed as others we've talked about on this list so far, so it can't just be as easily dismissed as just a trick of the light. Moving on to number 5 now, we have the Space Invader. In 2013, the Hubble telescope snapped this spiral galaxy that looks a lot like the face of a Space Invader. It's quite a strange sight to see. This galaxy is over 2 billion light years away, that means the light we see from it took 2 billion years to get here, and to us it looks like the creature from a classic 1970s video game. I wonder if there is intelligent life somewhere in that galaxy. It's strange to think that they will probably never meet us, and uh, all we ever know about their galaxy is that it looks like a space invader. What a strange universe we live in. Moving on to number 4 now, we have the Meridiani face. This is one of the lesser known faces seen on the surface of Mars. It can be found on the Meridiani planum, near the planet its equator, and some people believe it's of course evidence of intelligent creation. 
The two eyes looked closed, or perhaps they're squinting. There's a large nose and two sharp looking cheekbones as well. I don't know about everyone else, but to me, it kind of looks like the face is submerged underwater, or as if it's underneath like a frozen lake of ice. Kind of creepy. I just hope it doesn't open its eyes. That would be very freaky indeed. Moving on to number three now, we have Jovi. Now that is the nickname given to this picture that shows a pretty disturbing face across the surface of Jupiter. The stormy surface of Jupiter is always shifting and changing throughout time, but I imagine none of you have ever seen it quite like this. This image was processed by amateur scientist Jason Major. Now he jokingly titled it Jovi McJupiter Face. He produced the image by rotating it 180 degrees and orienting it from one side to the south side, if that makes sense. By doing that, the two huge oval storms become the eyes, and this creepy face of Jupiter is revealed. Moving on to number two now, we have the woman on Mars. In 2007, NASA's Spirit rover delivered this image, showing what looks like a person strolling through the Martian sands. Some have said that specifically, it looks like a woman. NASA admitted that although it looks like a person, it's not actually a person at all. This masked strolling figure is actually a craggy rock formation. Of course, conspiracy theorists disagree with this. They admit that the figure is probably made out of rock, but they say it's the statue of a female figure made by aliens. The Planetary Society was quick to call the object an optical illusion and an example of pareidolia, the tendency for our minds to assign familiar patterns to random shapes or sounds. I think that might just pretty much sum up this whole video. And finally, number one now, we have the Goblin. That's the name that I'm giving this face that was spotted inside a cave on Mars by NASA's Curiosity rover. This picture was taken in 2016 and quickly spread across the internet. UFO hunters started discussing the possibility of it being an alien creature. Scott Waring, editor of UFO Sightings Daily, believes that this is an important find. He spends hours every day going through the many images that NASA publishes online. Mr. Waring told his followers that if this really was a creature in the cave, then it would be about three inches in height by his calculation. Hmm, a three inch Martian. Now, that's possible, but as with many of the others on our list, this creepy face may just be a rock. I don't know. All right, guys, what did you think of those? Do you think they're just strange shaped rocks, or are they all tricks of the light? Or do you think some of these are signs of extraterrestrial intelligence? While you think about that, let me reply to a comment from my Toy Stories video. This one comes from Mini Kool Aid, who said, Actually, I know it's just a theory, but the reason humans in Toy Story have the same heads and faces was just to save time, especially since they're rarely shown. But I like the theory. Okay, so this was replying to when I talked about how creepy it was that all the kids had the same face in the original story. I agree, this probably was to save time. I think it's just a cool theory anyway, so I put it in. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much as always for watching. My name is Danny Burke, and I will see you all in the next video.